Hi, my name is Philippe Longchamp. I teach at Banningwold Montessori School of Lund in Sweden. Uh, I had the privilege in 2020 to be named Teacher of the Year in Sweden, and in 2021, I was among the top 50 finalists for the Global Teacher Prize. I teach history, geography, and technology uh, to teenagers, and um, it's the best job in the world. I really love to be able to integrate different topics when I teach, to do transdisciplinary projects, to help my students to really see the connections between the different school subjects and to collaborate with my colleagues. So I have the privilege to work in a working environment where I can use a multilingual approach, which is already integrative. I have the privilege to use Swedish books and teach my classes in English and use my native language, French, to really help the students develop their French vocabulary as well. Uh, then I have the possibility to collaborate with fantastic colleagues in making more transdisciplinary projects, try to work in a more sustainable way so our students learn for life. I want them to learn to think outside the box. And in order to do that, we teachers really need to learn to teach outside the books. We need to be able to reach the students on an individual basis to be able to adapt the content of what we're teaching to their needs, but also to their interests. So in order to really reach this goal, I think active learning is an essential aspect for the 21st century education. That includes important interaction between students, but also a lot of hands-on learning because embodied cognition is an extremely important skill to develop, especially at the time where students are spending so much time on their phones or on tablets. They need to do something with their hands more and more and in unrelated subjects sometimes. That's why it's so important to integrate more and more uh, in the STEAM spirit, even subjects that are not related to STEAM. And in order to really make this transdisciplinary approach sustainable, we need to think holistically. We need to think about also developing the critical thinking skills of our students. They're going to be exposed to so much more disinformation in the future and we need to be able to teach them to sort out facts from opinions. This is a great challenge for us teachers, but I'm sure we're all up for the task worldwide. But for this, we need to join forces, share best practices and really explore our own cognitive biases. Admit that we can be prone to make logical fallacies. And the more we're going to explore this together, the more, the more we're going to train together, we are going to help the next generations to be maybe a bit less gullible than our generation has been. My name is Philippe Lanchant. And I would like to say goodbye from Sweden in Swedish. So, hello and thank you.